Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofia and I'm a second year medical student at Deakin University in Australia. And today I am going to be talking to you about what is the best undergraduate degree before doing your MD course or postgraduate degree of medicine. So in this video you will learn what are the advantages and disadvantages of each undergraduate degree and hopefully you can decide for yourself which one is the best to pursue before doing medicine. So first a quick disclaimer, this video is good for those people who are going to pursue medicine in Australia. Medicine in Australia can be either done via two pathways. First pathway is straight from school to the medical course, uh, which will be all together for five years. In Australia, this course is available in such university as Monash, for example. And second option is to do your undergraduate degree and then to pursue your graduate degree of medicine. And this video is specifically for those of people who didn't get to medical school straight from high school and they want to do the undergraduate degree first and then to pursue medicine. So hope that makes sense and let's get into the video. So some of the most common degrees that people do as their undergraduate degree before medicine include biomedicine, science, nursing and any other degrees that can follow such as pharmacology, you know, pharmaceuticals, uh, physiotherapy, etc, etc. I'm not going to be talking about all of them, but I'm going to be focusing on the three top ones, especially in Victoria, because I know a lot of people who do them, a lot of my friends do them, and I did biomedicine myself, so I know what I'm speaking about, and I'm going to focus on biomedicine, science, and nursing. And whether it's good to do one or another and look at disadvantages and advantages. All right, so let's start with biomedicine. So biomedical degree is available in many universities in Australia, such as University of Melbourne, Deakin University, Swinburne, uh, RMIT, etc, etc. Biomedical science, it's also be called biomedicine, Bachelor of Biomedicine, basically focuses on medicine from the biological stand of view. You look at molecular basis of the disease, you look at cellular processes that occur in the diseases, and it's very, very a good basis for studying medicine. Because throughout the degree, you go through the topics and subjects that prepare you for medicine. So from advantages of doing biomedical course is that it's easily available at many universities and it serves as a good basis for your medical degree. For example, I did biomedicine as my undergrad and when I came to medicine I didn't have to study much, I just had to refine my knowledge because all of the basis was already there. We studied anatomy in my undergraduate degree and I studied anatomy in med school. We studied pharmacology in biomedicine and I studied pharmacology at, in medicine. So you get a good perspective of uh, the things you will be learning in medicine. And it's a good chance for you to understand whether you like studying medicine or not. And hope that makes sense. But what are the, some of the disadvantages of doing biomedical course as your undergraduate degree. Let's look at them. Obviously, biomedical course will require a quite high ATAR or IB score to get into, so not everyone can actually get into biomedical course, which is why it can be one of those major disadvantages of people doing them, since not everyone can actually get into it. Secondly, the major, major disadvantage of doing biomedicine is that it is a very competitive degree, especially at the University of Melbourne. That's why it can be hard to attain a good GPA. So GPA is the score that's used for getting into other postgraduate degree. It's your score for the whole undergraduate degree. 
So for entry into medicine, you really need a high GPA because you are being uh, competing with different people through the GPA score. So obviously you need a high GPA. And biomedical course is hard in itself. The subjects are very difficult. You have a certain structure of subjects. You can't just choose in your own. That was the case in University of Melbourne. You weren't allowed to choose much. They had the core subjects that you had to do. So if you don't understand them, you're not good at them, you will be struggling. So this is a major, major concern when you doing biomedicine is that it is competitive and it can be very hard to attain a good GPA. For med school you need at least 5 out of 7 GPA and the higher the better. For local students it can be get quite competitive with people having higher GPA from other undergraduate degrees which is probably maybe easier to get those GPAs for example doing arts or music. I'm not saying they are easier, but it might be a bit easier for them to get higher GPA. So when you're looking at what undergraduate degree to do, and if you're considering biomedicine, consider the fact that you have to be very good at science, math, and biology, and you have to be able to sustain that pressure that this degree gives you. For example, when I was in biomedicine, for me it was very, very stressful when people couldn't share resources or notes and I was uh, very stressed all the time because I was trying not to fall behind and be better than others, but everyone is so smart. So for those of you who think you won't be able to get through that, I would really not recommend doing biomedicine because there are other courses that you can do as your undergraduate degree in medicine that you can get a good GPA and not be so stressed all the time. Because remember, to get into medicine, you can have any undergraduate degree, any, just if you have a good GPA and a GAM set. So let's move on to the other undergraduate degree, which we'll look at next, which is science. It's the second major and most popular undergraduate degree that students take before getting into medicine, science. Science degree is the major, second major popular degree before doing medicine. Why is it so popular? Because you can choose a range of subjects available, especially I know that is the case with uh, Melbourne University. You can choose pretty much the same subjects as biomedicine, but you don't have to do the core subjects because in science undergraduate degree, you don't have to do those core, you don't have core subjects. You can choose any subjects you want and you can do them. So looking at science, why is it good to do that? Again, it's a good basis for studying medicine because you can pick subjects like anatomy, pharmacology, cellular structures and functions and so on. But the major concern with science is that unfortunately universities do prefer biomedicine of a science cohort when they take the medical cohort. So I'll explain. The medical school will have a certain percentage of people and they will take, let's say, 50% from biomedicine and 20% from science. So there is a imbalance between which undergraduate degrees they prefer. And for some reason, they prefer biomedicine, probably for a reason that it's harder and harder to attain the GPA because you do have those core subjects that you have to do well in and that shows that you are capable of undergoing medical course because medicine is a difficult study and involves a lot of information so they want to make sure that you are capable of doing that. And thirdly, if we look at nursing, a lot of students in medicine are of nursing background. First of all, the benefits are that after graduating nursing, you have the clinical skills necessary to become a doctor. For example, taking blood, um, catheterization, IVC, etc. But on the other hand, when you are being a nurse, you also can work as a nurse after graduating. So that gives you the advantage of having a secure workplace instead of those with 
having an undergraduate degree in science and biomedicine who are practically unemployable after their degree they have to do either research or apply into medicine that's the most common pattern that I see with my friends doing biomedicine. Nurses have the advantage of secure workplace, which is great because sometimes people take years in order to get into medicine. So this availability of work and that you can be still in a hospital environment if you want to do medicine and you want to help people, you still have that opportunity, which is great. And you can get the experience and knowledge necessary for applying into medicine because the people who will get you into medicine will look into your work experience why do you want to be a doctor and if you have a nursing background it will clearly show them that you want to be in the healthcare and you are ready to be in that environment the major disadvantages it can be quite tricky to work and study for campsite. This is what I know of. Nurses can have pretty irregular shifts and that can interfere with their studying for campsite. Other disadvantages I know is that all medical schools prefer nurses and a lot of people have to literally learn a lot of skills of how to interact with patients because when they're doing their nursing degree they have to communicate it in a certain way and when they do their medicine degree they completely have to do the other way around. These are the main disadvantages that I can think of. So if you guys like this video and prefer to see more of them, please like this video and write a comment. This will help with the YouTube algorithm and I will hope to see you back here soon with another video. But now I'm gonna say bye and see ya.